I think it's very difficult for us to talk about how homosexuality would have come into being. Um, I think it's as ridiculous as to ask how heterosexuality comes into being. I mean, heterosexuality comes into being because of procreation, but do early hominids know what procreation creates? Do, there are many proofs, for instance, that in certain societies the connection's not made between sexual activity and birth. They happen nine months apart. For many early societies, it's an instinctual kind of coupling. There's not the idea of the sudden awareness. I think that if you look in every society in the world, you'll find a different explanation for what sexuality is. And there's different metaphors, symbolism, religious context, um, the way that it relates to nature, to the natural world around people. But I think that if you really look, there is no origin. The origin of homosexuality as we understand it today is actually the origin of written language. So where we can find a written record, that's where we find its origins. Perhaps though, there were oral records that came thousands and thousands of years before those written records were produced in which we don't have any understanding. And this is actually made more difficult because people have been trying for many, many years to stop us from finding out the earliest part of our own history. Um, a case in point is to look back Back to Germany and to understand there's a famous photograph of a pile of books being burned by the Nazis and those books weren't books about Judaism as everyone perceives them to be. In fact, it was um, the library on sexuality that had been collected in Berlin at the time. And so I think that it's a really interesting thing to look back and see that not only have we sought history where it doesn't exist sought history and believed that it came only from written records, but we've also had people taking our history and erasing it as they went along, removing people who were famous, who were empowered, who, were, who would have made us all more proud. Um, they've removed them from our history so that we don't have them to look back on. Um, uh, Michelangelo, um, looking at great people in history and finding out that they th their homosexuality doesn't become a way that we describe them. Um, and perhaps they shouldn't be the way that we describe them, but we can't develop a sense of who we are without a sense of our own history. That's why the One National Gay and Lesbian Archive exists and it's why I work here, so that people can find these stories about themselves and in the past. I, I also think that it's futile for us to believe that we're ever going to find an origin. Um, it just isn't, that's never going to be created. What we are going to find is evidence of ourselves. Wherever there were, was culture, wherever there were human beings, we will find some indication of who we are as people.